So the first thing you have to do is to import your PCB. You can import IDC 2581 ODB. I'm just going to import an EDB, which is something that uh, Altium, uh, Duke, and Autodesk Fusion, they can export. So once you select the EDB or your ODB++ IPC 2581, we have the PCB in here. And you can select the nets that you want to simulate. I'm just going to select uh, these nets in here like uh, four nets and uh, maybe a few more nets in here, like uh, this one. So uh, you click here on simulation SI wizard and you have to save this. And you can include the next selected in layout. That's what we did. And now you can select which one of them, like in which component is gonna be the driver and receiver. So this, uh, component in here, I want them to be the driver. So I'll click update. I'm going to specify uh, this IBIS model. I want this to be a driver. And here you can select the source. So for these uh, four in here, I want a PRBS. Uh, you can select the this bit rate, rise time. I'm just going to use like uh, 800 megabits per second. The default clock, I'm going to do something like uh, yeah, 500 megabits per second. So these I want to be PRBS, pseudo random binary sequence. And this one, I'm just going to do a clock. And you click next. I don't want to use NDRM. Um, so what I want to do is create a schematic. And I also, I'm going to run for uh, more time, like 200 nanoseconds. I want to uh, plot a, a eye diagram. So I'll click OK and boom. Uh, Automatically, SI Wave creates the ports for you. And it automatically creates the schematic for you. So we are generating uh, the reports. Here we have the whole schematic with the IBIS drivers and receivers. Here's the, my PCB in the middle. Now SI Wave is extracting as parameter. It should take just a few seconds for this simple PCB. And then we will start solving the circuits. Here we have the results. We can take a look at the waveform, uh, at the receivers, at the drivers. You can uh, take a look at the eye diagrams. So this is the eye diagrams for my PRBS. Um, we have for the clock signal, which is a, a much lower speed, 500 megabits per second. So that's how you automatically generate those eye diagrams. And if you want to, you can see the radiated fields. So you have to right click on my PCB and select push excitations and you click OK. On the SI wave side, here under simulation, you want to compute far field. And you can select um, a frequent sweep. I'm just going to put from 30 megahertz up to 1 gigahertz and uh, with the 971 uh, steps. Click launch and that's it. And see now that we have the far field simulation, you can right click plot far fields and you can select max uh, electric field total. So this will create a plot here um, where usually I change the scale um, you know, to log. And I also double click here and change to dB micro volts per meter. So this is dB micro volts per meter at one meter away. Uh, so you can see some of the harmonics, 250, uh, 750, um, and so on. You can also see the near fields. So uh, you can actually go back in here and click on Compute Near Field. Then you can select a, a frequency range. I'm going to select from 200 up to, uh, I don't know, 450 with uh, 251 points. And you can select an, uh, the offset of the faces for this near field. I'm just going to put one millimeter um, and change the global where to have uh, final results. And that's it. And after a few minutes, we have the results here. Right click plot fields. And here we have, uh, you can hide the mesh if you want to here in view, show hide uh, mesh. Uh, you can plot the electric field. You can change the scale.
change the limits, for example. You can change the transparency. You can see at very different frequencies. You can animate this, and you see that for this specific frequency here, we have a peak in here, and you see that all these traces are radiating. Maybe I should go back to my original scale. And you can animate this. You can zoom in, take a look at the fields at uh, very specific frequencies, uh, and so on. 